It is April 2nd, 2022, and I am at the Georgia Southern Armstrong University. Here's whatever gate, whatever this gate is officially called. And I'm gonna show you the small flower pawpaws that grow over here. That's the species name Asimina parviflora, which I might be pronouncing wrong, but oh well. All right. Like I said, it's April 2nd, so this is what they'll look like in spring. Here's the leaves. Notice that they have smooth edges, and when they emerge from the stem, they are going in a zigzag pattern. One on this side, then this side, this side, etc. Pawpaws can be told apart from other plants because of the terminal bud, or in this case, the leaf that is forming at the very end. Uh, yeah, the bud is on here a little bit. If I can get the camera to focus. The little silver part there at the base of the smaller leaf is the bud. And this one also has some flowers on it. Here's these ones. This is why it is called small flower pawpaw because the flowers are very small compared to most other pawpaws, especially the common pawpaw, which is more often found up north. Here's the mature flowers, and that's pretty much as big as they'll get. Here's some more. So this one has two flowers on this stem that back there, two there, Two here, two here. There's a flower on this one and a bud, and also there's a little bug on the leaf there. Yeah, that's a bud that's still closed, so that will open. And that's the one plant. Like I said, it's right there with the big leaves. And then right here is the gate, so it's pretty much straight across from here. It's right there. And then if you look closely, there's another one over here. It's not this. This is a water oak. It's actually this one right here. And you can tell the difference because the water oaks, the leaves, are very uneven. And then the pawpaw is very smooth. Especially with this one. When the leaves are new, they'll usually be shiny like this and textured as they get older, like on this one here, they'll be less shiny and be really smooth, especially compared to common pawpaw leaves, which are very heavily textured. This one you can still see some of it, but not as much as the new leaf. This one's got some flowers on it. Not sure if they'll form fruit or not. They look kind of weird. And then back here, you can really see the le terminal leaf buds, whatever you call it, on here. I think I just knocked one of the flowers off. All right. So these ones, that one there, and that one there, right across from this opening here. And then if you go this way, there's even more. Where are we at? Yep. Right, right here. Right, like, across from the sign over there. And there's some more right here. This again is the water oak. It's not this one. But it is this. 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 And this. So this one has lots of flowers on it. I'll try and get the camera to focus. In there, up there. Oh, this one's got some fruit on it. See these little green banana shapes? That's the fruit that's going to form. So, this one is going to have four fruits forming. And then, further back on the stem, there's flowers that haven't been pollinated yet. 
and same with this one this one has that is a bud that's a flower and that's a mature flower and this one's got leaves on it and again you can see the difference in the leaves right here when they first come out like right here they're very shiny and wrinkly and then as they get older they get less shiny and more smooth all right so there's those I think it's two or three stems emerging from the ground there I don't know how many plants this all is it could all just be one for all I know okay in here there's some that are way back there behind everything else let's try and zoom in yep that right there is another one back in there yep and we'll zoom in again that right there is another one all the way back in there and then this one isn't a pawpaw but there's also a little blueberry plant here with the fruits turning green and it's still got two little flowers on it I think that's it for the small flower pawpaws right in this section as you can see here's that little road that leads back into the college Okay, and then if you've ever come over here, they've got a little walking path that leads through the woods here, and there are more small flower pawpaws over here. I'll show you the first one quick because it's right near the entrance, and then I will put the rest on different videos. So let me walk up here. And somewhere in here there's a coral bean plant. Not entirely sure where it is, but it was really pretty last year. Okay. So right up here by the curve is the second small flower pawpaw. Get my bike ready so it doesn't fall over. I dropped the fan, alright. Okay, and this one I actually put a plant marker here so other people could find it. Alright, this one, there's a little short one right there, and then a really tall one right here. Doesn't have a lot of leaves right now, but here's this one. See again the smooth leaves, and the stem is kind of a yellowish green. Later in the year it'll turn sort of rusty red and it's very distinct and very noticeable and helpful for telling apart from different pawpaw species because I think this is the only one that does that. So here's another flower. Oh, and a little spider right there. Hey spider. Try and get it to focus. Nope, it's not gonna focus. Yeah. A little tiny spider there on that flower. Here's another stem here. It's pretty short. This here is not the small flower pawpaw. This is either black cherry or Carolina laurel cherry. I think it's a laurel cherry because it's so shiny, but I might be wrong. Okay. And the taller plant here, that brown stem coming up, you can see that. And there's a bird calling, really dramatically. Oh, uh, that was actually some kind of hawk because I just saw it fly past. It might be the osprey that has been collecting sticks at our apartment. Anyways, so we got, nice. This one's got some fruit on it too. You can see the leaves here. So that's fruit and then a flower bud further back on the stem. There's some fruit over on this stem too and let's see yep lots right here it's fruit right there at the top another one there and a flower leaves let's see. 
this stem grew last year and then the leaves all started getting burnt looking so I'm not sure if they got too tall and didn't like all the sunlight or what but I think that stem is dead here's some more fruit with the little flower there that I don't think is gonna work out and then there's some more flowers back here These are all flowers, and this one's got flower buds on it. I'm not sure if it's possible with small flower pawpaws just because the flowers are so small, but if you ever want to hand pollinate pawpaws, you have to move pollen from the older red flowers to the younger green ones. Pawpaw flowers, or at least common pawpaw flowers, start out green and able to accept pollen and become fruit and if they don't get pollinated within a certain amount of time they switch to being red and start producing pollen to fertilize other flowers in animal terms it's like you start out being able to get pregnant and then if you don't get pregnant before a certain age you instead produce sperm to impregnate others it's pretty much how it works the plants do this as a sort of mechanism to avoid pollinating themselves because it is better for the plant and their genetics if they have a different plant, different individual plant pollinating them so that their seeds or offspring, whatever you want to call it, will have more genetic diversity which gives them more chances of having different traits from their parents which can help them survive better. So, yeah, this one is marked here with this plant marker. It seems to have survived pretty much the whole year, perfectly fine. And then further up the path, there are at least 20 more plants in here, but I will make different videos for them when I get to them because they're a bit hard to find right now in the spring. So again, it is April 2nd, 2022. I am at the Georgia Armstrong University in Savannah, Georgia. This is the little walking path that leads to the sports fields. All right, this is the end of the first video. Hopefully there will be some more today. Goodbye, for now.